believe that the definition of black man in America today is not very much different than the definition of a man in America today. Uh, I feel like more and more color isn't making that big of a difference. And even though there might be different um, expectations, like I know when I grew up, uh, the black man had to be the head of the household and take care of everything. Um, the wife, the kids, be the breadwinner. But I don't think that that's much different than just the man's role in society. So, Well, if someone's skin color is darker than another person, if it's just like completely dark and then I would consider them black, um, that or if, they're consider, if they consider themselves African American or if their parents are considered that, then they're black. Depends on what uh, what path they, they uh, that they take. I mean, uh, I don't think there's a set definition. Uh, Lil Wayne kind of is a role model for a lot of young men who don't have the um, the most direct ways to be successful. So what they have to go through is you know drug dealing and and things of that nature, and that's kind of what Wayne promotes through his music and, and things like that. Also, he, he shows that it's cool to be gangster, and you know, for some people that might be, but that's not the life for everybody, but that's just what he represents. I don't think he has any particularly good qualities. I think he's an awful rapper and doesn't stand for anything very good. Uh, he, all of his songs are pretty derogatory and pretty much rude, and pretty, not, they're not that good either, I would say. But that's my opinion. Um, I don't necessarily agree with uh, the message, the messages that he conveys in in in, in his uh, music. Um, I th I don't think he needs. I don't think he necessarily needs a lot of the way it, his messages. Uh, I do think he's creative. Uh, I do think he he's um, uh, an innovator. I think he's uh, in the world of hip hop. Um, he's he's up there. I don't I don't think he falls under like a legend status, um, but uh, what he's put together, it's, um, you know, for pop culture purposes, uh, and he's, uh, he's a smart businessman. So. Okay. He's not, at least to me, he's not the stereotypical successful black man. He, he, um, he's made a success in being very eloquent. He uh, is very well spoken. He kind of has a, a silliness to him, if you can say that. And in the black community, that's not exactly um, something that you see a lot of. He's always smiling, at least that's what I see. And he kind of represents the happier, not as serious, but still very professional side of black culture. I think he's funny, and I can respect that man. Uh, he was very, he's very talented at what he does, at stand-up and just uh, improv acting. I think he's a good guy. I think he's a pretty good guy. Uh, I think he's talented. I think he, he's he's uh, he's good for the world of entertainment. I think the world of entertainment uh, uh, always gets a bad uh, uh, rap with a certain actors, and and you never hear. At least I don't. Maybe I, I'm not listening to the right medium, but I never hear bad things about Wayne Brady. As far as a representation of the black man in society, um, he he fits the role pretty well in what I see as a black man. Uh, he enjoys what he does and he's very opinionated, which is what I see a lot of black men doing today. Well, he's an amazing actor, that's for sure. Uh, I like that. I like how him in particular, if he wants to do something, he will do whatever it takes to do it. Like, if he wants something to be done in a movie, then he will do whatever he can to have it be done in the movie or part of his role in the movie. He will just try to do whatever he can to make it personal to him. He's always he's that celebrity type. You do see him a lot at, at certain events, so uh, I, he's he's a type. He likes to show his face, um, but. I, know, I, I think uh, he's another. I think he's another one that, that's good for, for entertainment. I personally, I've never heard anything. I never seen him in a negative light. Um, but again, that just may be me not uh, following uh, uh, him. I've seen a lot of his movies, so from that thing, I think he's very talented. 
So uh, President Obama is a, a good role model for for young men who are trying to do something other than the Little Waynes or the Samuel L. Jacksons, the Wayne Bradys, who can't be into you know entertainment but can still be successful in other realms of society. Um, I think he's inspirational. I think it's pretty impressive that he was able to do what pretty much no well not pretty much no one else has been able to do. I mean, first African American president is pretty big deal. Um, I mean, no one else can say they've done that, so that's impressive. And I think he did a pretty good job of getting in there. He's professional. Uh, he's a people person. Um, I believe he's someone that you can, you know, you, you can just go out to lunch. You know, he's just a just a human being. That's a very uh, ambiguous type of title to put on anyone because I don't really believe that black has a a particular, you know, this is black. All of those men are equally black in my eyes. They just represent different facets of the African American society, if I can skirt the question that way. I would say society would probably say Lil Wayne or Samuel Jackson just because of how outrageous they are and how people try to like, they're, they're the most prominent in pop culture, so people will see them the most or listen to like Lil Wayne, they'll listen to him like in music a lot or see Samuel Jackson in all these movies acting how society wants or the media wants people to see black people as but I would say that they're all equal I mean they're all black so none of them are any blacker than the other I don't know the stereo I guess they have the stereotypical black person that that um, that dresses a certain way has a certain image about himself uh, I, I would put and if that means that if that is what means blacker than everyone else, then I would I would put uh, Little Wayne um, in that in that spot. Now, like I said, there are different types of black men, just like there are different types of any man. Um, there are the the ones who are out there being very professional and kind of what society deems as the ideal man. Then there are those who didn't have the same opportunities to be successful in that way and they found success in their own way. It's not, it's not a very good one because, like for example, if you were to ask someone about, you know, you're walking, down, you're walking down the street at night and you see a person and if you say that they're a black person and everyone, a good, or maybe not everyone, I won't say that, but a good amount of people instantly say I'm scared or I'm worried or I think I'm going to get mugged or something like that. But, you know, if they see another person, like if they see a white person, they won't exactly think that. They'll just say, oh, that's normal, and just walk by. So I don't think it's a very good image, but that's my opinion. But yeah, there, uh, the bottom line is people, there is a perception of black people. That they're the ones that commit all the crimes. They're the ones that, you know, talk a certain way or, you know, or have a certain jobs. And um, we need to get away from that. I think that's just a decision. Everyone, uh, that's just a decision that, every, that, that, those, that those individuals decided to make. No, I don't think that's a good judge of character or a judge of anything, honestly, because, like I said, being black doesn't change, you know, who you are. It really isn't something that should define us at all. No, no, I don't think that's very fair. I think that, I mean, I don't really see being blacker than anyone else as a real thing. I mean, the only thing that makes you black, in my opinion, is your skin color. The kind of person you are just depends on what you do. So I wouldn't exactly call that a trait that can be defined. But, uh, I just, yeah, I think everyone should be given a fair chance. No, it, it, it's not. Uh, you know, you asked me, you know, who I think is blacker than, you know, I said little, little Wayne, but... You know, Little Wayne is, is um, I, I mentioned, uh, he was a smart businessman. I believe he does things for a reason. It's not fair to, to, to judge. Uh, everyone's, you know, we always say everyone's different. Um, but I really think that that should, uh, that should be the way, the way it is.